So, for this one, let's go and create a new task. And now we're going to have, to have it as the remove task. Let's go to our tasks. Uh, I guess this build, we can name it distract task. Let's go through the solution explorer. Uh, we want the tasks, distract task. Let's bring in the build task as well, however. Uh, it should be above over here and let's do a vertical group just so that we know what we exactly we are doing. Okay, first of all, namespace. Like that. Okay, it doesn't take from model behavior but from task. Okay, and I'm going to copy most of this since it's very similar. Okay, of course the the constructor is going to change and I think I don't need the build task anymore. So we're going to close it. Let's take it step by step. So when we first create the destruct task, okay, we assigning a block. Let's rename this to destruct block. Okay, on unit assigned, let's see what we are doing. We assign the unit, of course, that's the name of the method. We assign the target task to this unit. We assign that it actually has a task. We need to find a new Pathfinder task for our unit. Okay, and we need to go from the current block to the target block. Again, it's still the same. Then we register that as a path task. On start, it's still the same, we don't really need anything. On finish, we clear the task. So, what's basically going to change? Then we move over here. Instead of add block, we're simply going to say remove block for target block. Okay, back to the player interaction then. Let's keep this. Uh, of course, this is for the test, but uh, it's still working. So, I'm going to make a new method. And I'm going to say add block uh, task or build task method. And I'm going to copy all of the, or just cut it. And over here, I'm going to say add the remove or distract task method. We're going to test this one first and then we're going to make sure that we're working. Uh, first of all, of course, we're going to need, oops, we're going to need if current block is null or not. And by order of elimination, we could also do, you know, add this above over here and remove both this and this. So, okay, the task method, uh, the build task method needs to check for the above block. However, we want to distract, so it means even if we have something above, we don't really care right now. Okay, so we can just check if our current block dot is solid, then create me, let's put a debug log warning over here and say you are trying to destroy a non-solid block. Okay, destruct task, destroy or destroy, yeah, whatever, new destruct task, current block, destroy target position, current block, target position or well yeah world position okay and tasks task manager singleton register pending task build uh, not build destroy okay 
and let's drop that inside over here and let's go and test it to see if it's actually going to work like that it load so here we are let's start digging through here and voila it indeed does so with this of course you can start digging as you can see so we have full terraforming uh, everywhere obviously you can of course dig below you which of course is a byproduct of us not having any pathfinding uh, or better pathfinding okay so with this we now have both terraforming uh, both adding and both removing which is pretty much anything else for example harvesting resources or stuff like that it's going to be based on uh, the exact same logics okay you either go over there you go to your task and when that task is finished you are doing something else okay so this is really really cool and we have done so much progress with this awesome so let's clear all of this this and this let's say we want to add both of them together for now I'm just going to do this and I'm going to change this to build task just so that we can check both of them together they are working so left click builds right click removes load okay let's build something over here and uh, just below it let's destroy something and let's destroy something we've already built as you can see and of course we're not seeing animations so that's why you are not seeing anything if they are next to us okay so that's pretty much it for this actually for this part as you can see it's really simple because we have all those methods it's really simple to just keep adding and adding the because we don't have pathfinding right now if I go below and say go and destroy one of these yeah okay it's not working so that's kind of actually it is kind of what we want for the most part okay so we manage yeah we managed to find a non-ideal unit so I, I think be, because that happened it's uh, from the bath find from the pathfinder that when we add a unit and when it's idle if it can't find the path it will always you know keep iterating until it, it manages to find the actual the correct position for it okay we're going to fix the pathfinder so don't worry for that okay awesome so uh, let's finish this part yeah this will this one was shorter but I'd rather keep them a little bit more encapsulated with at least with the task I think it makes more sense uh, to do it like that so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff like this then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making a lot more of these videos. I'll see you on the next one.